Did you know that money has been used for thousands of years throughout human history? Hi everyone, this is Mr. Lara, and in this video we will learn about money in the USA and how to find the value of a set of given coins and bills. Bills are money made of cloth that have been assigned a value. For example, there is a $1 bill, a $5 bill, a $10 bill, a $20 bill, and a $100 bill. Coins are flat round pieces of metal that are worth a certain value, such as pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters. You can find former U.S. presidents printed on every coin. For example, Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president of the United States, is on every penny. A penny is a shiny orange red or brown colored coin that has a value of one cent. Lincoln served as president during the Civil War and is known for abolishing slavery. You can find the face of Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States, on every nickel. A nickel is a shiny silver colored coin that has a value of five cents. Compared to a penny, a nickel is larger. We know Thomas Jefferson for being the author of the Declaration of Independence. We can find the face of the 32nd president, Franklin D. Roosevelt, on every dime. A dime is also a shiny silver colored coin and has a value of 10 cents. The size of a dime is smaller and thinner compared to all other coins. Franklin D. Roosevelt led our country during two of the toughest times in U.S. history, during World War II and the Great Depression. The face of George Washington, the first president of the United States, is on every quarter. Quarters are shiny silver-colored coins that have a value of 25 cents. The size of a quarter is larger than a penny, nickel, and a dime. A coin not so common is a half dollar. A half dollar has the face of John F. Kennedy, the 35th U.S. president. It is silver colored and worth 50 cents. Compared to all other coins, a half dollar is larger. Although there's no right or wrong way to count money, one way to count money is to start with the bills that have the largest value and work our way down to the coins that have the least. For example, let's say we're to be given the following set of bills and coins. We can start off by identifying our bills with the largest value. We have a one $5 bill that has a value of $5. Notice that our digit that represents dollars is to the left of the decimal point. It starts at the ones place. We also have two $1 bills, so that is equal to $2. Then we have five quarters. We can count by 25 to see how many cents we have in total. That would be 25, 50, 75, 100, and 125. Five quarters have a value of 125 cents or $1 and 25 cents. Another way to identify the value of quarters is by grouping. Since we know $1 is equal to four quarters, I can group the four quarters to get $1 and I'm left with 25 cents. Next, we have four dimes. We can count by tens to determine their value. 10, 20, 30, and 40. The value of four dimes is equal to 40 cents. We also have one nickel, which is equal to five cents. Now we are left with six pennies. Since they each have a value of one cent, all six pennies have a value of six cents. In total, we have five dollars, two dollars, a dollar twenty-five, forty cents, five cents, and six cents. If we're to add all of our cents together, we have seventy-six cents. If we add all of our dollars, we have eight dollars. The total amount represented by the coins and bills is eight dollars and seventy six cents